Hey everyone, ever accidentally deleted an AD object and felt panic? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you something super useful. How to enable the Active Directory Recycle Bin in Windows Server 2025. This awesome feature has been around for a while in Windows Server, and it's a lifesaver when you need to recover deleted objects. Let me walk you through enabling it. First, open up Server Manager, click on Tools, Click Active Directory Administrative Center and click on your domain name. Look for the Enable Active Directory Recycle Bin option in the Tasks menu on the right. Quick heads up, you will only see this option if you haven't enabled it before. And once it's on, there's no turning back. So I'm going to click on it to enable it. And it also says that once Recycle Bin has been enabled, it cannot be disabled. So I'm going to click on OK. Now you'll need to refresh for the changes to show up. If you're working with multiple domain controllers, just remember that replication needs some time to do its thing. I'm using a single DC for this domain, so I'm gonna click on OK. But in the real world, you'll want to wait for everything to sync up properly. And you can see now the option is grayed out. Now, if you're more of a PowerShell person, and I know many of you are, there's another way to do this. While the GUI method is popular, PowerShell gives you that command line flexibility. So here's the command. Enable AD optional feature and the feature name is recycle bin feature. Set the scope to forest and specify your target domain. Press enter. You'll get the same warning as the GUI method. So I'm going to say yes. And if you try to enable an already enabled feature, it'll give you an error message saying that it's already been enabled. Once everything has been set up, Head back to Active Directory Administrative Center and you'll spot a new deleted objects container. It'll be empty at first since we just turned this on. So let's do a quick test. Let me go back to Server Manager and click on Tools and click Active Directory Users and Computers. And let's say I accidentally delete user1 user account. And if I go back to Active Directory Administrative Center and click on Deleted Objects and hit Refresh, and there is user one with all the details, like when it was deleted and where it came from. Getting back is as simple as right clicking and hitting restore. Now, if I go back to my Active Directory Users and Computers console and under EMEA OU and Users OU, if I hit refresh, I see my user one being restored. Now, what if I delete it again? Go back to Active Directory Administrative Center, hit refresh in deleted objects. Let's say I want to restore it somewhere else, maybe to the default users container. To restore it to a different OU, just right click the deleted object and click on restore to. Browse your target location, select users and click OK. And if I go back, click on users OU, hit refresh and I see user one. This is super handy when you're reorganizing your AD structure or need to move objects between OUs during recovery. Now, while the Active Directory Administrative Center method is super easy, let's look at the PowerShell way as well. But first, let me delete this AD object again. Click yes, and now I'll open up PowerShell. In PowerShell, we'll use get hyphen AD object to find user one's account. I type hyphen filter, display name equals user one. If I press enter, I don't see anything. So here's the thing, after deleting the account, you need to add the minus include deleted objects parameter. All right, there you go. We can see the user one deleted object. Now to bring it back, you just need to pipe the output to restore hyphen AD object and press enter. Now I'm going to run get AD object command again without include deleted objects parameter. And there you go, your user one user account is back in the default users OU. And there you have it, using the recycle bin is way easier and safer than having to restore an entire database. Trust me, you'll thank yourself for enabling this feature. If this video saved you some stress, smash that like button and hit subscribe for more Windows Server tips and tricks.